Welcome back everybody, this is Cryptic Coding here and today we're back with another video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how you guys can create a... We will be actually continuing our part 2 of this tutorial, okay? First let's take a look at what we'll be doing today. So let's go ahead and here and as you can see, if I hit E, nothing happens. I'm hitting E or the use key. And if I go over there and he said E and then and if I say uh, another time but if I go over there nothing happens that's what we'll be building so this is a part two of this tutorial so make sure you watch part one now I will explain what's the main what was the thing that we added first is two variables called is collided and also a dial key check okay <clears throat> we'll go down uh, as you can see there is two functions called get collisions and dial check we'll look at that a little bit later this is our fellow this is our fellow like the movement script right over here and we have our one called the motion and then we have the check movement loop here and we have this is the stuff that starts the main our main code it's called start dialog so I want you to go ahead and code it right start dialog and then it create a show variable and set it to true and we'll say if the show equals to true then we will just print and then we'll say show equal to false the reason how why we are doing this is because we want to run it once like in if you know the function call function can be called multiple times and sometimes if it calls multiple times the uh the showing text behavior can be can mess up okay that's why you need to make sure you put it like this way so it whatever the thing is it will only run once okay hopefully it's now clear now as you can see this is a bit complicated but it's not that much first we are getting the npc instance what is this instance is this instance right over here where am I okay this instance right over here and we're saying get parent get node NPCs to get children. we're getting the children's of the NPCs so we're saying get parent now if you uh, watch my previous video you will say hey why there is only one get parent okay let me explain a little bit here uh, get parent in Godot 3.0 was if I say this one, I write get parent, it means this one. But in Godot 3.1, if you, if you say this one, like if you say it, it gets the whole tree, the whole the world tree. So that's why you need to make sure that you use, uh, where am I? <laughs> you use get parent once. And then you say get node NPCs because this one is the NPCs, and then you say get children. It will give you an array of instances that are in the uh, the node M NPCs, right? Then we create a for loop. Uh, the for loop says for i in range get slide count. Get slide count means the how many times the kinematic body collided. Okay, and this is the time that you need to go ahead and do whatever you want now get slide count is basically the same thing like if something like happens now if in the first beginning on the game the we we are not colliding with anything as soon as we go ahead and collide with the uh, the collision shape the get slide count increases hope, hope that makes sense so that's the time how much we need to perform this loop now we'll write is collided equal to npc instance which is our this uh, thing right over here which is our array remember remember carefully it's a array okay so npc instance here and we'll write i here because we want to make sure if you have coded any for loop you know why what i'm talking about it's just uh, i in the first run will be zero then one then two and then three and the maximum number of z uh, i the maximum value of i will be the get slight count variable so what this function returns will be the i's maximum number so uh, in the first it will be zero and the next will be one okay so we'll say has method this is a method this is a, actually a method <laughs> this method actually uses a string to identify if something has a specific method inside of him so if i go to the npc script and if i say look at this this says is npc now 
you need to create a method okay it's a bit more weirdly and quickly quickly way to do it but you need to do it okay so this is the actually the main the core of this okay so it just says that it will give the has method and it will say is npc so if we had so npc has a npc script and inside the N npc script we have a function called is npc hope that it's clear and then that we'll say is collided is collided this will return a true or a false true or false depending on if the instance has is npc or not so we can just say is collided it simply means true just like the above one the above one we can do that so if collided equals to true and we hit the ul, UL ui underscore dial thingy then start the dialogue so um remember that carefully that this thing right over here you actually don't need it what we what we need is a dial check so it's already in there already in there so dial check if i just run this hopefully hopefully it should be yeah this is up okay whatever so um because i'm just an idiot i didn't write dial key check here now i will explain wait a bit wait a bit sometimes it's a mess up, mess up so much hopefully it works there we go there we go okay, okay so let me explain what i just did that now what i did was we'll tell telling the computer that it's collided so we are in the we have a instance that says is npc and we said dial check now what is this dial check is basically we're getting a the ui dial function we're getting that if we press the thing or not and then we'll return whatever the given value is okay so now over here as you can see and if we collide it and we dial we click on the e button we'll say start dialog now in that start dialog function we will say show equals to true and i just explained to you so if show equals to true then we're getting the parent of this whole make sure that you you make sure the your thing is uh in the process what i was to say is to so make sure the naming conventions are right here the naming conventions are right so the naming conventions are dialogue canvas layer and then dialogue again so we have to make sure the dialogue canvas layer and then dialogue with a small letter d in it then we can say dialogue node which is this one dot show text now show text as before smart editor i think i have one right i have like dial 2 i think right uh yeah this one and say intro lady and hey what's up now i can add more stuff if i wanted to and then chapter then dialogue functions it's just the basics of how everything works you can do it as many times you want and i think that i am the first one who ever like figured it out there will be another tutorial we will be discussing about how to make sure that if i go over here as you can see here and if i talk to him and then he faces my uh, he, he faces to me instead of facing to the nothingness right we'll talk about it we'll also talk about how you guys can follow a particular uh, npc so make sure you subscribe to my channel by below and make sure to like me subscribe to me and do whatever you want share this video and peace out